Bombay Cat vs Burmese Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? The Bombay Cat personality can easily be classified as extroverted. These are social cats who like to make their presence known. Not only will these cats follow you around the house like your shadow, but they also enjoy talking to whoever is near and willing to listen. Although at first glance Bombays may look like every other black cat a quick way to tell Bombays apart is that they have an entirely black coat, and their nose and paw pads are also black. Another signature trademark of these sleek felines is the infamous and stunning Bombay cat green eyes. Some Bombays can also sport gold to copper colored eyes. These sleek looking, mini black panthers are sociable, playful, and smart. These cats have a striking appearance and a personality that is rather unique compared to many other cat breeds. The lively and affectionate Bombay loves people and is adaptable to many different environments and lifestyles. His calm nature makes him a good apartment dweller, and he is amenable to life with other pets, although he definitely wants to be a top cat. Expect to find the Bombay hogging the warmest spot in the house. That includes under the covers at bedtime. Most will converse with their people in a distinctive but not loud voice. Bombays are often good at playing fetch, and some have learned to walk on a leash. This is a smart cat who loves to play and will thrive with a family who is willing to teach him tricks, play games with him, and provide him with plenty of interactive toys. The Burmese are energetic and friendly. He has the charm and determination of his Siamese ancestors and enjoys conversation as much as that breed, but his voice is soft and sweet, belying his tendency to run the household with an iron paw sheathed in velvety fur. He is highly intelligent and seeks out human companionship, so he's not best suited to a home where he will be left alone much of the day. If no humans will be around to engage his intellect, be sure he has the company of another pet. He gets along well with other cats and with dogs, but another Burmese will be his best pal. While not as chatty as their Siamese ancestors, the Burmese did inherit an inclination to make themselves heard. They aren't shy about vocalizing their needs. When they need your attention, they'll let you know with a raspy, guttural rumble. Ask any Burmese lover, and they'll confirm that these cats have darling personalities. These social butterflies turn the charm all the way up when they're happily engaged with their owners. Expect him to explore your home thoroughly and know all of its nooks and crannies. He is playful and remains so into adulthood. Tease his clever mind with interactive toys, and teach him tricks that will allow him to show off for an audience. Besides sit, roll over, wave, and come, he can learn to fetch a small toy or walk on a leash. With proper early conditioning, car rides and vet visits will be a breeze. The Burmese have a habit of getting into things. They like to investigate their owner's activities from a high vantage point, usually their owner's shoulders. If you're considering adding a Burmese cat to the family, be prepared for an energetic and engaging playmate whose greatest desire is to be involved in all household activity. A Burmese is a good choice if you don't object to complete loss of privacy. This cat will want to be involved in everything you do, from reading the newspaper and working at the computer to preparing meals and watching television. When you are sitting down, he will be in your lap or right next to you, waiting expectantly to be petted. You will be scolded if you ignore him. Guests will receive his full attention, and it is likely that he will win over even those who claim to dislike cats. They are an overall healthy cat breed. It is always a great practice to keep an eye out for potential health issues that have been known to affect these breeds. Here are some common health issues of Bombay's. Respiratory issues, unsettled stomach, pneumonia, bronchitis and asthma. Burmese cats have a higher risk for. The leukemia of the aqueous humor results in a milky appearance of the eyes. Head or facial defects. Diabetes. Elbow osteoarthritis, arthritis in the elbow that limits mobility. One of the best ways to keep your Bombay and Burmese in great health and to catch any issues before they progress is to schedule regular visits with your veterinarian. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The Bombay short, sleek coat is easily cared for with a few strokes of the hand or at most weekly brushing or rubdown with a chamois to remove dead hair, distribute skin oil and polish the coat to its gleaming best. A bath is rarely necessary. Plan to spay or neuter your Bombay at 6 to 9 months of age. It is not unheard of for Bombays to reach sexual maturity as early as 5 months of age. The soft, short coat of the Burmese is easily cared for with weekly brushing or combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oil. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. 
Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. It's a good idea to keep them as an indoor only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Cats who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. Except for his dramatic black coat, the Bombay looks much like the Burmese, but with a few physical differences such as a larger, longer body and longer legs. He has a rounded head with medium-sized ears set wide apart, eyes that range in color from gold to copper, and a straight, medium-length tail. The short, fine coat feels satiny to the touch and shines like patent leather. Although the gene for the black coat is dominant, a sable-colored kitten is sometimes born in a Bombay litter. Some associations permit these kittens to be registered as Burmese. The Bombay is a medium-sized cat when lifted, he feels heftier than he looks. The breed develops slowly and males may not reach full size and musculature until they are two years old. The Burmese are often described as a brick wrapped in silk, a testament to his solid, muscular body. While the original Burmese was a dark solid brown color known as sable, he now comes in other shades as well, including blue, champagne, and platinum. The cats have a compact body with a rounded head, large, expressive eyes in gold or yellow, and medium-sized ears that are rounded at the tips and tilt slightly forward. The coat is short and satiny. The traditional sable is a rich, warm brown, slightly lighter on the underbody. A kitten's coat darkens as it matures. Nose leather and paw pads are brown. A champagne-colored Burmese is a warm honey beige shading to a pale gold tan on the underside. Nose leather is a light warm brown and paw pads are a warm pinkish tan. Blue Burmese have a medium blue coat with a slightly lighter belly. Nose leather and paw pads are slate gray. Platinum Burmese are a pale silvery gray with light fawn undertones and a slightly lighter color on the underbody. The nose leather and paw pads are a pretty lavender pink. Some associations permit other colors, including tortoiseshell, lilac, and red. The outgoing, active and social Bombays and Burmese are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They will play fetch as well as any retriever, learns tricks easily and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. He lives peacefully with cats and dogs who respect his authority. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.